Greetings gentlemen and ladies, old school game snob here, and I'm just learning all sorts of new things. Today I learned uh, blueprint, interf blueprint interfaces. Don't know how to say it, but apparently I know how to use it. Uh, these are awesome. <laughs> I had no idea these were so easy. I tried to watch a few videos on them and just got confused, so I wanted to make a really simple video uh, explaining how to use these. Uh, okay. Because, yeah, it's, it's just, it's it's so easy, you don't expect it to be so easy, and then it's, you, you know, you expect it to be harder to figure out and what it's all about, and you don't realize it's so easy, and uh, it, it, it can be confusing, as, at least that was my experience watching some videos on it. Uh, but here's the thing, here's the blueprint interface. Alright, so what I've got here, let me, sh let me show you my scenario. I've got my pawn, and I've got a spaceship. I want to be able to get into the spaceship. But I need to be able to communicate to the spaceship a couple things. I need to tell the spaceship uh, my my what what character is getting into the spaceship. Basically, I need to I need to communicate a few things to the spaceship. But that doesn't really matter. Let me show you. Let me show you really simply how this works. All right. So um, I've got here my my event that uh, that uses the blueprint interface. Right, that calls to the blueprint print interface. I've got my blueprint interface here, and I've got my spaceship here, which receives the blueprint interface uh, custom event, basically the blueprint interface event, right? So the blueprint interface is just being told right now to print string, print a couple of things. It's being told to print a, uh, my vehicle reference pawn and my self reference pawn. I'm just getting that from like my blueprint self and uh, a, a reference that I got to the vehicle from a from a line trace. That doesn't really matter. The point is. Uh, you could put any 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 variable in here, right? I could just you know type in hello there, how you doing, right? Uh, here's the thing. All right, so when I now cast to when I now uh, hit hit this hit this ship with line trace, you'll see in the top left, you'll see it print out my pawn's name and the ship's name, right? Hero C spaceship, right? So basically, uh, what's happening here is that using this blueprint interface, I'm able to just basically it's basically like a like a cast to but actually it seems a lot easier it just it, you know it just seems uh, easier <laughs> honestly than uh, cast to and also it's more flexible <clears throat> because uh, there are some limitations for example say I, say I wanted to have the same event in a bunch of pawns uh, but uh, I need to update some information inside the pawn right or inside uh, whatever whatever I'm uh, whatever I'm using the blueprint interface whatever blueprint I'm sending information to right uh, I I need to cast to each of those blueprints individually with with the with the cast to event right but with the blueprint interface I can just sort of set up a general catch all right and any any pawn that now has this event in it will run it right I don't have to specifically cast to my spaceship uh, because my spaceship has hap has this event. And it's linked up with the blueprint interface. It just works. All right, so hope that makes sense. Uh, here's how it works. All right, so basically, you go ahead and create a new new. Uh, this might make sense if you don't understand this. This will probably make sense once we do it. All right, so just go ahead, right click blueprint uh, interface, blueprint print interface, <laughs> something like that. Blueprint interface. All right, so you go ahead and create that. You'll get your blueprint interface. It'll look like this, and you'll have this like unnamed function right up here. I've just called this one "possess me, please," uh, so it's easy to remember. You know, "possess me" is uh, "possess me, please" is it just stands out, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, I also have a couple of input nodes. I just added a couple of input nodes down here, right? They are of the pawn type class because I'm going to be sending uh, pawn information through these input nodes. Uh, but as you can see, uh, vehicle pawn, driver pawn. That's it. This is just like the little relay. This is the relay between two blueprints, and this is where I got confused. Like, there's nothing. There's really not much more to it than this. You just set up the custom event, and you get the the input nodes. And uh, I'm not even sure what the output nodes do, but I'm going to check that out pretty soon. Uh, so basically, now in my spaceship, which uh, is going to receive uh, events from that interface, uh, first of course you have to make sure to attach your blueprint interface in class settings. You just go to implemented interfaces and add that uh, interface. Right, so you just you just look for your uh, interface name. Mine's called Possess BPI, as you can see right here, Possess BPI. Um, <clears throat> and now, do I need to add the interface over here? I don't think I do. No, I don't need to add the interface in the in the 
class uh, in the in the in the uh, sending to or whatever it just it just seems to work <laughs> it just it just seems to work uh i think you only need it in the receiving uh pot, class or pawn or whatever i don't even know what it's called but hey i'm just learning but anyway here's the thing here's the thing so now i can go ahead and uh find that possess me please message right possess me please message uh and then in that i i can of course feed the variables that i want uh, such as vehicle and driver pawn, right? And now, and now, what happens is that the custom event fires over here. Uh, that is the event possess me please, and it just it basically just in this case it just prints out the vehicle pawn and the driver pawn. So I've communicated that information over uh, to this without a cast to without a cast to node basically. So. Um, yeah, that's it. That's how I mean you communicate information between blueprints using the blueprint interface. It is actually that easy. So I hope that it helped help somebody. Uh, I just wanted to make a simple explanation. Hopefully I didn't get too complicated in it, but yeah, you know, there you are.